Hello, and welcome. The following film has dramatic use of the word fuck. You've been warned. Dude, why do I look like Senator McLaughlin? Because when you made this it was like gay sex. You were drunk and up for trying new things. Fuck you. That is why I walked in on you in front of your mirror listening to wings of a butterfly dressed in your sister's corset and jerking off stalefish. Um. No. Deny it all you want, but inside, we both know you are just dying to come out. Not out of that faggot ass ninja suit, but out of the closet. And by closet, I mean where you store your homosexuality. Faggot dot dot. You have heard my feelings, Kyle. I now want to go in my room and cut myself while listening to a hen album in reverse while also auto-erotic asphyxiating myself like that one guy from Kill Bill. Are you talking about Quentin Tarantino? No, I am talking about David Garradine. He died from auto-erotic asphyxiation, sir. It was pretty fucking brutal. Speaking of brutal, did you hear that Kyle Oliver might include this conversation as the seventh part of his animation series? I mean, how fucking dumb. He said he was going to stop making those pieces of shit twice now, and he keeps doing it. It's the same old sheet every time, just us hanging out and talking about bullshit. If I were him, I would just give it up. I think he's lost his touch. Yes, but I hear he is planning a sequel to Smoking 101. That was his only film that was passable. Everything else was just jokes he recycled from old and played out Kevin Smith films. Yes. But what's all this about a Smoking 101 sequel? Is it going to be called Smoking 102? Because that's how fucking dumb his ideas are getting. I don't know. I have not been on their non-existent website to find out. Actually, Magic Shroom Productions has a Facebook page now. Just go to the Facebook search bar and type in Magic Shroom Productions. Go like their page after you finish this cartoon first. Self-promoting is a bit move man. I should slap you so fucking hard that it would feel like you kissed a freight train. Stealing lyrics from Five Finger Death Punch is also a bitch move. Uh, I am sorry. I just had an orgasm. Speaking of orgasm, what the fuck ever happened to Quaid? Wasn't he a star on this piece of fuck show at one point in fuck? Yes, but he is in Afghanistan. I heard the other day, he took a sheet on Osama Bin Laden and came on his face. Quaid is a badass. It sounds to me that Quaid is more intelligent than that bitch nigger Obama and that we should elect him for president instead of Trump. Are you talking about that piece of sheet billionaire with the cheap pussy ass 90s haircut? No, I am talking about the old piece of sheet billionaire with the cheap pussy ass 90s haircut. By the way Ben, you never told me it was this fucking time consuming to make a goddamn cartoon animation this way. If I would have known this then I would have stuck with my normal piece of fuck way. Thank you everyone. This piece of sheet was written and directed by Kyle Oliver. Have a nice afternoon and go fuck yourself.